there we go. Nice. It's all in. Well, we're just about to do the final engine alignment. the day. Magnus is going to... What exactly are you doing? Fixing it? Replacing it? Oops. Putting a new membrane in. New membrane, yep. And putting this panel in instead of switches new and pipes and stuff everywhere. Fancy panel. Moving things around a bit. Just uh, housekeeping. Lots of housekeepings. Hmm. You've been doing a lot of housekeeping lately, haven't you? Well... When you did the engine. Yeah much left the old wiring no. so the panel boardy thing where's that going to go what's the panel decided? board this thing here yeah, it's going over there oh it's going over there in the back of that so we can get to it easily um i'm just at the point of working out put the new membrane in I've worked out all the plumbing. I know what I need to get. Um, thing is, the half's imperial, half is metric, so we're going all metric. So I've got to have to get some more metric fittings, which I'll go and get now, and then cut a hole in there, put this in, drill a hole through the side of the boat, put a um, through hole in, couple it all up. Should work. Bigger after my very smart. You happy? Very happy, darling. That looks fantastic. Uh, that's production water. It's the only time you can use Imperial than metric and they're the same size. And a quarter inch. And then this one, so that's a little M. Mm -hmm. Can you hold that for a minute? There we go. Nice. It's all in. Happy with that? You've got to be happy with that. Now it's going to tidy all the plumbing up. That one I won't be able to tighten up all the way. Last one. You can play with your, all your knobs now, darling. Right, take it all out again. What's going on, babe? I'm um, just putting a couple of solar panels on. Oi. Yeah. Where are you putting them? Um, well, they were going to go out the side here, but it's fraught with issues. It's just, uh, they were going to be in the way, so I thought, why not put them up there? Is it up there now? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, Have a look. So, yeah. On top of the bimini. Perfect spot, one on each side. Well, there we go. See? 
So that's going up and through the hole in the middle. Yeah, so that'll be out of the way. Yeah. That's really good. Fits beautifully in there. What are you up to now, babe? I'm, I'm just designing the bracketry for the aft solar panel. You see your thinking. Mm -hmm. A lot of thought goes into this. Seems a shame to use them, they look so pretty. Well, I got them, they're, they're usually like $30 each, but I got them for eight or seven. Oh, yeah. We're here at dinner with some friends, right, at the pub. And all of a sudden the pressure's on. Because I've ordered a beer that I've never had before, and which is a bit of a mess of me. It's from Little Creatures, which is a local brew from Fremantle, where I grew up. And it's a WA Pale Ale, and I'm West Australian, so I should have actually tried this before, but I never have. So I've had a couple of dark beers, so the palate's still zinging from them, but I'll give this one a crack. It smells like a good PA. Or it, like we like to say in West Australia, a WAPA. $150 screen that we're going to use as a plotter outside. Yeah, let's see how long it lasts. Yeah. So that's where I'm at, trying to work out how to do this split in the back. Yeah. What's going on, babe? Hey? What's going on? I'm just about to put the. I've just turned the. Ch <laughs> Hello. I've just turned the chain around, cut off 20 metres of the worn bit, turned it around, and now I'm just about to feed it back into the chain locker. So, 
tie the better end off so we can cut that the sacrificial we can that's enough to go up through the horse pipe onto the drum so just cut it with a knife if we ever need to get rid of it um yeah good to go good to go it's hot it's hot that one's hot all right let's do it it's all newly painted it's all newly tagged you just got to get it in the locker here goes Where are you up to now, babe? Um, I've got all the old anti-foul off the shaft, the prop, the nut and the washer. So that's all clean as a whistle. So now what's just left is to give it a final sand, um, then get all the, uh, give it a, once over with acetone, then we start the prop speed prep. There's two stages of prep and then two coats of etching primer and then one coat of silicon on top and then the prop's done. And we're just gonna, as normal as we always do, all this bronze here, we're just gonna anti-foul. Yeah. I'm now ready for her first coat of paint. But we just sort of wait for the tide to come in and go back out again. So that's the plan, about one o'clock. We'll put the leading edges in the waterline on. For starters, and see how we get on. Train is now all back in again, untwisted. Last time we did that, we worked out with Mexico. So that's gonna be better. What's going on now, babe? Um, just making up a, a two brackets. I need one bracket for the back of the, the new plotter screen to go into the ram mount, and then I need one bracket from the ram mount to the upright pole we've got. So I've just got, got up the little workshop up here and cut up some brackets. Now it's got to drill them and bolt them and screw them and job done. Oh, it goes all over the place. Yeah. Any which way. Nice. See if the cover fits, yeah? Huh? Yeah. She's going to be red this time. What's happening when? We are painting the bottom red. We're chasing we're sort the tide of, yeah. here. As the tide's going out, we're sort of following it. Yeah, because we don't get many hours. No, we've only got a few hours. So. Yeah, but we're doing all right. Yeah, sun's about to set. She's what time like is it? About six. I don't think yeah. it's six. Five thirty ish, having a couple of quiet beers. It's quite relaxing Listen, actually. There's music on up there at the pub. Yeah. Yeah. It's looking not bad. I'll oh, we'll give you a far out view. There you go. And that's where we're up to. And the other side. And that's the other side. That's where we're up to. Day two of painting the hull. Magnus stayed up very late last night getting that first coat finished. And this morning I just um, rinsed the hull with fresh water because the tide has been in. So I'm just about to head down and start the second coat of paint. So here I go. She's looking gorgeous. She's looking very grown up. Time to stop, the tide's coming back in and the paint has to dry. I've got three quarters of it done. Just a tiny bit left. Looking pretty good. Here comes Mr. Erickson. Good timing. Well, the bottom is all finished now. And she's just about to uh, 
prop speed the prop, but it's quite a particular operation, so you have to do it all in the right timeline, otherwise it doesn't work. So as it's quite hot, I'm holding the good old Bunnings umbrella to keep the sun off the prop because it's quite warm, and to cool it down a bit so that Magnus can paint it. He's just prepping the uh, all the bits. Yeah, pretty cool. Tiny. Yeah. Is that the etching stuff? Yep. Three minutes to do the whole prop. Whoa. Do you leave it on or you get it off? I leave it on. So tiny. What is? A little tin. That's all you need, I guess. So each coat is supposed to take three minutes. So it's a pretty quick operation. We've just hit the three minute mark, so uh, yeah, on track. Final coat. Yeah, that's more than three minutes, that's perfect. Oh, it's weird. I oh, thought it was going to be bright yellow. Like thick, like silicon. Oh, it's glossy. It's clear. Oh, wow. Oh, it's called the clear coat. Oh. One coat of that? Yep. And then eight hours to dry. Well, we're just about to do the final engine alignment, or the initial engine alignment, and bolt it down. All right, here goes. That's the new shaft that's got to go in. To, um, that's how much longer the old gearbox was than the new one. So it just goes in between the gearbox and the old. We could have got a whole new sh prop shaft made up, but it's, it's like five meters long. So we've just got this made up. How's it looking, babe? Good, I can mark my holes, drill all the engine mount holes, because they're pretty happy there. I just got to lift the back of the motor up by eight mil, and the front, I've got to make some wedges to fit under the engine mounts, and then we're good. What's going on, babe? Um, let's put the engine mounts in and lined it up, but I want to start it and sort of bed it in a bit before I make up the um, packings that go underneath. And just make sure everything's tickety-boo. So it's the next job. Just a couple, put the bolts in on the um, dumbbell shaft. There's eight bolts to go in there. Wait for the tide to come up a little bit more, and then we can Start her up and check everything. What's going on, babe? Just putting our instrument panel back together after it got wet, and uh, we're going to start the motor. You grab my glasses. What's going on? We're stuck. We're stuck on the poles. We're totally disconnected. We're stuck. I'm a bit eager though. We've still got another 0.2 uh, metre of tide. That's all we need to get free. We're just bouncing at the moment. Yeah, uh, yeah a bit keen. It'd be nice to get back out on the anchor. So what's happening? What, what... Is everything done that you wanted to get no. done, or the majority of it? Yeah, sort of. Half the things. <laughs> All the important things. I 
think Magnus is willing it off these poles, actually. And this is a little bit eager. We've actually got another 200 um, to go before we can get off, which is about 45 minutes. So I think he's trying to push us off. Let's <laughs> see how he goes. Looks like we're free. Ta da! We are free. We just gotta get out of this little narrow passageway that's got all sorts of things underneath the water. Say goodbye to this place. Thank you. 